Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, Unfair. We've just killed this juggernaut of a Chaos Space Marine Aurora and have leveled up our characters. What advice do you see? Um, I'm still trying to really figure out uh, the game and its archetypes. Um, as you can uh, see, we've picked kind of uh, individual archetypes so that I get a good feel for them. Got a Vanguard uh, on Abelard uh, for the max tank, then Heinrichs uh, with the Assassin, which is a, f a fine uh, mm, choice, I think, because he's dodge tanking already, and I think we can do even more of that. We got a Grand Strategist for some battlefield control with uh, Pascal. Um, then we have the Arch Militant, which I think is a nice build uh, as well. And then we got Cassia with Master uh, Tactician and uh, previously the Officer School. I must say though, I actually think that uh, the Officer uh, is potentially the one class in of the four uh, of the four initial archetypes uh, that resonated most with me. Uh, don't get me wrong, operatives are great as well. They are kind of my second uh, favorite. But I think the um, officer, specifically through that uh, finest hour and bring it down uh, feature, that seems like a very strong combination. So I bet you you could stack officers um, and embrace true power. Trivialize a couple of uh, things, but we're not uh, up to optimizing anything yet. Uh, part of a blind playthrough and that's maybe interesting for those of you who are uh, attempting to do similar uh, topics is to not only steer away to, uh, from all of uh, the content that's already out there but essentially creating the ability to understand games and logically uh, think about them and in your first playthrough what I would always recommend is don't pigeonhole yourself into a single one trick that is quote unquote OP, but try all of the classes really. Anyways, back to the um, story. Thanks to the Emperor, you're alive, your Lordship. We are most gratified by your return. Uh, the crew is full of zeal to carry out orders that you might have. Um, okay, before I issue anything, what happened to the system sun lord captain we saw a number of ships approach black creations of inhuman make uh, amalgamisms of sharp angles and edges they surrounded a star and then apologies but i struggled to find the words that could describe a terrible sight the xenos make the sun vanish into the void Ooh. drukari as if we did not have enough trouble on our hands already the Xenos, enemy of humanity, a breed of Alderi, the most cruel and devious of their kind. The design of their ship, uh, ships matches the description of the Void Master. Like all Xenos, Drukhari are blight to the face of the galaxy, but their technological superiority is indisputable. Their anchor and fear warp society, which is why they rely on creations of their twisted intellect. Many of the creations are capable of things that may seem akin of sorcery to the unenlightened eye. Um, is there any chance that we could recover the star? Are you uh, proposing that we ask uh, for it back? No, rogue trader. The sun is lost. We must accept that and uh, in fact face the deal and its consequences. Situation calls for immediate action, Saiken. We can continue this conversation as you wish, but not right now. I believe you should assume command. What is happening to the planets? Our auger operations are reporting numerous uprisings and other manifestations of the arc enemy's power in various locations of the planet. Based on the fragments of communication we picked up by the Vox operators, there's practically no resistance being offered by the governor's forces. Millions of people are converting to the blasphemous final dawn cold on mass and assembling in prayer circles um, what is the current situation on board the navigator sanctum is no longer empty 
but the warp engine still is refusing to obey the engine series. Without it, we cannot perform warp jumps. Pascal said it uh, might be angry or perhaps lamenting the injuries it has suffered. I will immediately initiate preparations for prayer service. The Omnissiah uh, grants me comprehension. I will appease uh, the machine spirit of our vessel. All right, can we retake the planet? I fear Rikert Minoris has lost. The situation is deteriorating by the minute. We must leave the system as soon as possible. However, there are still people on the planet who have not succumbed to the heresy who are worthy of rescue besides the small numbers of our own shuttles. We also have the sh uh, shuttle salvaged from the starport. The dark eyes of the Sister of Battle flash. We must save as many as we can. This has happened for a reason. Saint Argenia, whose name I carry with uh, revenants and uh, trepidation, is famed for saving people of dying worlds through the power of prayers. The lives of the peasants are of little value. Our prime objective is to save the Holy R Relic, the fusion reactor, and the Electro Priests who guard it. Every moment we start in proximity to a dying world, putting ourselves at risk. Your life, Lord Captain, is far more valuable than all of uh, Ricard Menoris. The Valencian dynasty cannot be allowed to perish, and so, lamentable as it, though it is, we must rule out the idea of any ev evacuation. Heinrich is like the world is doomed and the inhabitants along with it. Uh, the disappearance of the star was a final nudge towards death. The final cult of the uh, the finale, the uh, cult of the final dawn's planet. I once witnessed a similar event, a world that had uh, surrounded uh, servants of the arch enemy and pretended corruption is too deep, uh, too deep to enter at this moment. Millions of people are bowing before those who have promised them salvation. Our only hope is to stop the process and retreat to a safe distance from our planet and conduct a targeted bombing of the Electro Priest's monarch, uh, monastery. If they blow up the reactor, a thermonuclear reaction will follow and the world's oxygen will evaporate, killing off the entire biosphere. In doing this, we save millions of souls from the fate far worse than death. Oh well. All right, why can't we not to try at least evacuate some of the people? For the simple reason that the transformation process will soon become irreversible. Our sole weapon against it is useless. The energy related by the bombardment um, could stoke the warp engines. I've never witnessed the aftermath of a bom uh, bombing a demon world before, but there have been enough evidence in such attempts for me to say with confidence that you do not want to see it. Which of the planet's inhabitants can we evacuate? The nobles you rescued are at the starport, have given coordinates of shelters where we are finding surviving uh, aristocrats and their families. As for Sergeant Malgar's troops, they will help to control the crowds of frightened commoners to prevent the shuttles from being overloaded. Uh, have the pilots extract all of the commoners who have not yet... Uh, Well, if we want to be dogmatic, we gotta bomb it. I think that's the right call. It sucks, but it must be done. Yes, Lord Captain, I will immediately inform the navigation and artillery decks of the impeding maneuver. The bridge is in upheel, the Technomancer's prayers mixed together with senseless cacophony while the servitors work hastily um, to remove the hard crust of the sa uh, sacred urchins from the warp engine's compartments. In the middle of all this uh, tumult sends Pascal with a data slate clutched to his hand. What's going on? The warp sexton is not uh, responding to commands. The ship spirit is rejecting our prayers in anger, currently calculating a plea that might appease the noble spirit.
Um, Pascal. Um, crew, heed the word of Magos Hanuman. Pascal, I kindly request you to take charge of this mess. There we go. Thank you, your lordship. You're right. Tech comrades, heed my instructions. The mayhem immediately subsides and the crew actions fall uh, into some indescribable logic. The Omissiah servants start working in sync and the uh, Bin Harrick clamor becomes a uh, symphony of reports which the Magos coordinates like a skillful conductor. Admirably done, Pascal. All right. The prayers of the tech priests surrounding the cogiator almost drown out of the sound of the bustling bridge behind you, Pascal, uh, pouring intently over the data slate um, on his hand, extracting a mechadendrite dried towards you. That seems to be a data report. No, it's a prosthetic limb. Okay. Please take your uh, place. All right, we're stepping up. The huge machine in front of you, with dozens of witch screens and hundreds of lumen, blinking lights and endless rush of symbols and digits on the green background make your eyes water, and a vague sense of alarm simmers through the depths of your mind. The typical reaction of a layperson when confronted with the magnitude of the Omnissiah's creation, amongst the numerous controls you see uh, the mouth of a cyber uh, gargoyle, the same at the gate of the Warren's chain. Servants of the machine god heed my command, Archalites prepare the incense instrumentalization for the liturgy of the machine spirit, a propitiation. Senior technomans recite the prayer to generate a current data report. Operations will be marked with the Chemapological Protocol. Omnissiah rejoice. Pascal, I must inform you that the purpose of safety, complete reassemblance of the warp sextants and updating the data smith's uh, blessing is required. If this is not done, and the launch of the volume and aggregate calculation errors could result in the destruction of data crypts. But as we do not have uh, 100 hours at our disposal, we must omit uh, this procedure. Minor deviation from the right operation for the sake of appeasing the spirit. All right, what must I do? Place your hand inside the throat of the Cogiator's guardian, the Cyber Gargoyle, which has been assigned to guard the Forbidden Data Crypts. The uh, dynastic blood extracted from your veins will serve um, as a key for Data Core, where the Machine Spirit dwells, and it will offer prayers so that we can bypass the protective protocol for defective connections. The laws of the Omnissiah know no exception, and so is this ritual. Alright, we're placing our hand. Um, the metal jaws clamp down of your hand, breaking your uh, delicate corporal sheath and releasing a warm red liquid into the scarlet. At the same time, the image of the vid screen before you changes. All right, what does that all mean? Um, at the second of your voice. A cogiator servant whose bronze brown skeleton is built into the cogiator's housing shutters with a screech its skull, skull rotates towards you and then stops in that position. Benevolent code, a voice receptor. I hypothesize that the defection is located in the analysis block. I register a reactable uh, reaction to the signal, but not no process response. A temporary override is permissible. All right, what should I do now? Lord Captain, now I ask you to aggress the machine spirit. Speak with the following command. By my authority, I revoke the invulnerability protocol and warp engine. All right, I do exactly that. Servants of the Omnissiah uh, make now the offering of the clan data crypts to the machine spirit so that it might be filled with their true and calibrated data. May the Omnissiah have mercy with our souls. In the meek uh, solemnity, the Acolytes offer up clan data crypts to the warp engine one after another, repeating the prayers of exaltation after um, anointing the contracts with the sacred urgence. Uh, Pascal inserts them into the cogiator slot. Your head begins to spin from the holy center. Uh, sensors foul smelling clot of smoke and uh, from 
the loss of blood that uh, the cyber gargoyle continues to drink from you uh, and a word uh, swims before your eyes uh, let this mechanism awaken the renewed purity pascal says all right what is happening after a few seconds one of the data crypts mounted to the cogiator begins to emit sparks a few moments later another data crypt does the same the next bursts into flame and gives up a foul smelling smoke around you the omnisire servants break off from their prayers and some burst into frantic pleading. Pascal, the mass of errors in the warp sext and calculation is destroying the data repositories. The offering did not appease the ship's spirit. The warp engine cannot be filled with a motive force. We are trapped. Perhaps an alternative uh, rise in protocol or an uh, emergency launch of acceleration coils. Whilst the other wood screens are filled with more and more strings of symbols, the monitor in front of you blinks and the static image changes. Pascal is too engrossed uh, in his ritual to notice. All right, read the information. Uh, yeah, perturb, disturb, break, no more as operation query. No more as step false. No more as step, uh, no more as step true. No more as step false. Well, that's all uh, commenting text, so there is uh, not much uh, that has uh, that is happening here. Machine spirit, can you hear me? The cogator servant creaks quietly and joins the sound that is drowned out by the bin herrick hymns and tapping command runes. All right, uh, ping, request, injury, rescue, query. Machine Spirit, this is Lord Captain of the Whistle. Obey me and start the warp engine. Oh, hello, Machine Spirit. In the name of the Omnissiah um, and the Emperor, reveal us, uh, re uh, reveal unto us power and guard us against the doom. Pascal echoes your sentiment with a triumphant sound of a binary hymn. Pascal's next vocalization goes unsynthesized as he sees the wrist screen begin to stabilize one after the other. The string uh, frenetically gallops across the green background and replaced with a more stable imagery of regularly updating status reports. Only one ma monitor remains inexplicably red. Registering warp sextant, activator registering data stream stabilizing, registering, uh, registering zero data errors found, reporting the warp engines are ready for translation. I'm also reporting evidence indicating a Category 3 miracle for falling the creation, though shall witness the mechanism, a mechanism that tolls the glorification of its function and in defiance of deactivation. Lord Captain, says Master Helmsman, Rever here, the crew's almost finished carrying out the orders given earlier, just received confirmation from our engineering hall. I don't know what you did, but the warp engine is up and raring to go. We're ready to begin translation into the warp, your lordship. Uh, give orders to commence the transition into warp. Emperor, protect us. All right. I don't know what I did, but I apparently have chosen the right dialogue options. Valencia's flagship made its way out of the doomed star system. As the void shift plunged deeper into the Coronas expanse, 
The rogue trader's subjects bid a formal farewell to the late head of the dynasty, Theodora von Valencius. Having paid their last respects, the crew gathered their strength and braced themselves for whatever was to come next. Lord Captain, allow me to report our journey through the warp is coming to an end. Lady Navigator Orselio informs uh, me that we have reached the point where we can translate to real space in the Furibunda system. The Lady Navigator and her pilots are awaiting your permission to begin the process. The Furibunda system is home of footfall, the only Imperium outpost within a functioning wharf in the Coronas Expanse. Tech priests are beginning, um, are begging you to have mercy with the machines worn down by the warp and allow the uh, servants of the Omnissiah to inspect and heal the void ship's wounds in the dock. The prayer and rituals will take some time. With our astropathic choir, uh, we uh, will use to establish a connection with the prime worlds of your protectorate. Um, okay. Master Sagnarius Weiss has uh, recovered an invitation previously adrift to the Immaterialum. Uh, the League of Footfall was humbled, uh, humbly requested an audience with the rogue trader of the Valencian dynasty. According to Master Sagnari, the message was tinted with shades of pleading. I quote, apparently the League is anxious to meet you as soon as possible. Footfall, the place where filth and uh, sanctity go hand in hand. Uh, reverberant uh, Hieronymus uh, Doloroso will most likely expect a visit from me. I imagine he's interested in talking to you as well, Saiken. I believe in your void ship when we arrive at Footfall. Once uh, that is done, consider the Lord Inquisitor's task to be completed. The Lordship, uh, young even uh, Winterscale, has asked me to convey his gratitude for hospitality, for saving him from certain death. Not wishing to outstay his welcome, he plans to disembark in footfall. Lord Yvain swears he will not uh, forget his debt to you. And Pascal said, I hereby confirm, Rogue Trader, that during the comprehensive system inspection ride, this unit discovered data cluster within the um, captain's cogiator that are concealed from prying eyes by means of personal cipher and sacrament of algorithmic authorization. Unit psych and form Valencius has been added. Uh, to the access list and um, assigned as keeper too. The unit can access data from the captain's co-gator provided him uh, that he possesses the uh, decryption key. All right, are you leaving us Heinrichs? The arrangement between Lord Inquisitor and your predecessor was that I'll be transported to Footfall and no further. I dare not to take advantage of your generosity. All right, you're a skilled fighter. I can use people like you. What do you say? We extend your stay in the retinue. Thanks for the offer, but I must decline. I'm afraid my duty, the Golden Throne, becomes uh, before anything else. Heinrichs, don't be that guy. Seriously, we continue to need you. Argenta, who is this revered Hieronymus you were talking about? He's the head of the Drusarian mission in Footfall and the most prominent clergyman of the sector. Paying him a visit is a good thing for any loyal servant of the Emperor. Uh, I assisted his mission uh, before I joined Lady Theor uh, Th uh, Theodora on her voyage. I need her, um, his blessing to accompany the new rogue trader. Uh, Van Valencia's dynasty, if you wish to have me on board your ship, I request that we meet him. Okay. All right, Victus begins uh, to issue instructions. Mesh's ship appears uh, to change with her every word. Bridge is set in motion. Hundreds of people start to prepare for a shift into real space. 
measure charging fills the corridors. Um, one more thing, Lord Captain. Uh, no one at the station knows about La Lady Theora's demise, and you're inheriting at the title. Uh, Liege uh, Tokara will be informed. He will not meet with an unknown person of unclear standing, however, it's still a matter of announcing your arrival. Alright, I'll arrive at Rogue Trader. It will be done. With your gracious permission, I will return to my duties. Alright, and we got a lot of stuff here. Okay, so, Master Helmsman, Lord Captain, getting reports of several ships moving towards us, judging by the fact that they are not responding to our hails, and the telemetry shows the trail of macro batteries. They are not here for chainwide, ready an issue to order, prepare at a, for battle at your command. Uh, where did they come from, and why haven't you noticed it before? The rubbish of the Furibundus, and I'm not talking about these wrecks that are about to open fire. I mean uh, the remains of the meteorites, ga gas clouds, and uh, the refu refuse from shipyards. All bunched together, these uh, smaller ships hide uh, behind uh, it to harass ships uh, when they emerge from the warp. All right. On my order, all stations get ready for void combat. Hell yeah, we're going to teach them a lesson. They're coming in hot and heavy and uh, are attacking a rogue. Alright, we entered a space battle. And apparently we're up against two Cobra class destroyers. But we are, at the end of the day, flying the Unforgiven. Uh, so, got a big fat laser weapon with a lot of damage. A few torpedoes. A nice little void ship ram. Couple of uh, cannons and sure, I mean, look, um, how about we're starting to fly to here? Oh, that was good hit. A uh, good hit. Ships are protected by shields, and we can restart our shields. Okay. Rerouting the power to the shields reduces uh, speed and firing range. Okay, uh, well, everything comes at a cost. That's a universal truth in life. Let destruction pour forth. Oh, yeah. their souls to the void. Okay, torpedoes apparently require one more turn. Unleash the storm of micro cannons. Steer us to our target. No, no, no. Why would I do the shields again? Ah, oh, that's not clever. Remember that we had a bit of a... Yeah, there we go. 
that we had to maneuver to um, to change course. Good, one of them is down. I like that. Can't ram them. Barely cannot hit them with the Mendoza cannons. And... Torpedo control. Uh, gives you five more uh, movement. One, two, three. Oh, well, that might be it. Uh, no, that's definitely not it. Barely not. Oh. Plasma torpedoes are just not quick enough. How is that possible? Let destruction pour forth. Good hit. Torpedoes Another torpedo. Now. We're flying around here. Let the Imperium oh, guide us. so close. Yeah, we, we really can't turn a lot. Torpedoes fly to here. Another victory for the Valencia <laughs> dynasty. Very good. Uh, okay, nice. Enemy attacks can penetrate your shields, and you get scrap. Okay, we need to double check. How all of that works. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, so, hull repair. Yes, of course. And whilst the hull is being repaired, I distinctly remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got 300. We have nothing other than couple of components uh, and yeah, we had torpedo control and all of that but there are more abilities space combat is fun I like it good uh Full U turn. All right, sure. That was super helpful. So we've upgraded uh, the U turn. Now, next up, how about we're upgrading the hull, um, which gives us more hit points. And what else do we have? Ram damage. Uh, Eh, not the biggest fan of ram damage, but I'm a big fan of um, upgrading the hull. Okay, very nice, very, very nice. Cool. Uh, we're currently here. Got a dead world, you know, I mean, Listen, we before we go to footfall, might as well start to explore Altar Templus. Lord Captain, the station's airlocks have been sealed from the inside 
box recording is stating that the priesthood of the Altar Templum Calaxius X17 Sanctuary have no desire to communicate with the laity and are refusing to access guests on basis of the Adeptus Mechanicus privilege of I violability. Well, that is an interesting word. You're granting them the sole jurisdiction over that sacred site. Scanning the dead world. Nothing came back. Station airlocks, yeah, I, I got you the first time. Are there random encounters here? Where we could fly into spaceships? Maybe. Lord Captain, we have, uh, uh, we have the flagship Drussel's Blessing with a small escort dead ahead. They're requesting a direct Vox channel, patching you through. Uh, greetings, Lord Captain. I'm honored to speak uh, with the uh, rogue trader of the House of Lentius. May your name be known, though, the, uh, through the ages. Uh, uh, Chartist Captain Osterius Thornfest, bearer of the free charter of the merchant fleet. Okay, what's your squadron doing here? We develop supply routes for Chartists. You see, my ship is a representative of the merchant's fleet. Our mission is to establish business contacts with the Voidfarers. Uh, okay. I would like uh, to take a look at what you have available uh, to sell. Well, for starters, uh, we need to work on our... Um, On our tradable so they only want void pirate trophies they have almost nothing else that they are interested in but that's okay uh, but they do have a couple of fine things such as A few ship parts which I am more than interested in acquiring and boy they do have a lot of good ship parts holy moly 105 wealth rating that would be ultra wealthy well listen you guys look like a great bunch to uh, to deal with in due time for now, torpedoes are firing four plasma torpedoes. Um, and we had uh, the Mezoa cannon, which I think was not too bad. Um, we have a Mezoa lance weapon. I'm not sure if I like the torpedoes. Now uh, we got a second, a second type of torpedo. Uh, they were not bad, but they were quite delayed. Uh, what else do we have? We got a drive upgrade, which is good. Void chip, uh, better data. Add to cargo, okay. Uh, okay, so the new drive is faster, but is not that good in accelerating. I think I want mobility. So, and then we do have... 80 points of protection for each uh, sector 70 point for each sector but it's doubled against blast attacks hmm. okay sure 
let's try that. Okay, and we can now either take another set of torpedo tubes or a Mizora weapon. I think we're okay. We're okay for now. We're testing the new uh, weapons. I think for now, before we're uh, trying to go for footfall, I'm just exploring the rest here. Are there hidden secrets in those uh, sectors, I wonder? Not really. Okay, and to be fair, there is really much uh, to be done. Good. Next time we're going to go uh, to Footfall to finally establish a foothold in Footfall. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, truly appreciate it. Uh, I hope uh, you like what you've seen. If that is the case, then uh, do it like the merchants are doing it. Trade uh, one thing that is valuable for another one. Uh, you got some entertainment. I would love to get a like. I think that is a mutually uh, agreeable trade. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.